Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I was going to do a quick overview on adding and subtracting fractions. So all a fraction is, is one number over another. And the top is how many of the pieces you have. And the bottom is the total number of pieces. So if you look at a pie here, right? If I have one of the four, it's one fourth. If I have two of the four, it's two fourths. And then whenever they're even like that, you could reduce them. Um, two will go into here one time, and two will go into here two times to give me one half. So that's all a fraction is. It's also a ratio. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. Okay, so if I have a fraction that's one-fourth plus three-fourths, the rule on adding and subtracting fractions is the bottom number has to be the same, and then you just add straight across the top. So one plus three is equal to four, and you keep the bottom number. And that kind of makes sense, right? If I have one quarter right here, and three quarters right here, I have one quarter plus three quarters, and that's gonna give me my four quarters, Four goes into here one time, four goes into there one time, or just one whole. So if I have, say, one six plus five six, I add across the top to get six, bottom is still six. If I have three sixteenths plus five sixteenths, I add across the top to get eight, bottom number is the same, and I keep it. 8 sixteenths, 8 goes into here one time, 8 goes into here twice, so that reduces it to one half. Where it starts to get tricky is when the bottom number is not the same. So if I have 1 fourth plus 3 eighths, I can't just add across the top because I'm adding different things, so I gotta get everything to eighths, or I gotta get everything the same. So I'm gonna multiply this, by a factor of one. Two over two is one. The reason I picked two is that's what I have to multiply four by to get to eight. So I multiply the top by two, multiply the bottom by two. Now I have two eighths plus three eighths. Now I have that common number in the bottom, a common denominator. I add across the top, five, and I keep the bottom number the same, five eighths. Do another one here. Let's say I have three sixteenths plus um, five eighths. It's going to be the same thing. I got to get a common number of sixteen on the bottom. This time I'm going to multiply this by two over two. Again, I pick that two because that's going to give me a sixteen, the same as this. And then 2 over 2, this thing is equal to 1, so when I multiply it by that, it doesn't change the value. So that gives me 3 sixteenths plus 10 sixteenths. Add across the top to get 13. Bottom number is 16, and that's your answer right there. Right here, it gets a little bit more complicated. Remember, the goal is to have the same number on the bottom. There's not one number I can multiply one of these fractions by to get there. So I've got to look for the number that both of these are going to go into. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 is going to be that number. I'm going to multiply by 1 here. 4 over 4, that's equal to 1, but that's going to give me a 12 on the bottom. I'm going to multiply by 1 here. 3 over 3, that's going to give me a 12 on the bottom. So I have 4 12s plus 9 12s. Add across the top, 4 and 9 is 13 over that common denominator of 12. This is called an improper fraction. 12 goes into 13 one times with one left over. So 13 twelfths is the same thing as one and one twelfths. Go ahead and pause the video right here and try and do that problem. Okay, bottom number is gonna have to be 12. This one's already out of 12. This one I have to multiply by two over two. That's gonna give me 10 twelfths plus five twelfths or 15 twelfths. 12 goes into 15 one time with three left over. And then this could be reduced. Three goes into three one time. Three goes into 12 four times, so it's one and one quarter. 
If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. But that's how you add fractions. Thank you for watching.